different engine. Put it on our wood chipper here. All right, here we are. Today we're looking at this bear cat chipper shredder mulcher type thing. So right now it doesn't run. It hasn't run in a good year probably. So we're going to see if we can do anything with it. Turn the key here, nothing happens. Grab the pole crank. Yeah, that doesn't move. So, let's see if we can do anything with this or this thing's junk. Bearcat model 72285. So, last time we ran it, it started making some loud banging noises. So, I think the chipper part was uh, loose and hitting the frame. So we're going to see if we can lift it up and take a look underneath it. Yes, it's light enough. We don't need to actually jack it up. I just need something to hold it up once it's up. Okay, kind of vaguely remembering this. There's a bolt under there that slipped loose last time. Okay, before reaching up under there, let's get the spark plug disconnected. Okay, got some sockets. We're going to See if that bolt's tight. <sighs> oh. All right, it's definitely still hitting something. So we gotta look inside there to see what's what's hitting it and preventing the engine from spinning. Okay. We're gonna take off this opening here. Okay, I think we need to take that off. That off. That off. That off. That off. That off. That off to get at it. In other words, the whole engine needs to come off. That's a big job. I don't know if we're going to be doing that. Okay, we're going to try one last thing here. We're going to use the impact drill here to see if that will tighten that bolt up in there. Okay, probably getting in more than we want. Starting to take it apart a little further. Okay, here we are. 
Removing the engine, mounting bolt. All right, we thought we were just gonna spend like half hour looking at this thing, maybe tighten the bolt and then it'll be good, but here we are, at least two hours later. Hot and sweaty. We've got the engine disconnected. We're about to see if it'll lift off. We just got the throttle cable that we got to remove first, and then we're gonna try lifting it. See if it comes off. One, two, three. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right, I see a shear pin's woodruff key, woodruff key is loose there. Uh-huh. Don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. But yeah, let's, we'll take a look. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There's the problem. There's where the key goes. There's a little bit of a space left, but man, this shaft is busted. All right, is that repairable? Probably not easy. I think that goes all the way up into the engine. I don't know, what do you guys think? Got a different engine. Bring it back. everyone here we are we got a 16 horsepower engine on our wood chipper uh, it used to come with a eight and a half problem with this one was the shaft broke busted so we grabbed a 16 horsepower V twin engine and put it on our wood chipper here yeah that thing's gonna be a beast uh, only problem is it doesn't fit yeah, the engine's too big. So, as you can see, it's huge. Takes up lots of space here. But our real problem is right here, the oil filter. It's that. We really need this to be over to the left. About another three inches. Doesn't fit. So that's very disappointing. That would have been really cool. Okay, we tried again. This time we got an even bigger engine. We got a 19 and a half horsepower engine. It was shaped differently. So we were like, yeah, maybe this one will fit. Unfortunately, it's close, but not quite. Pretty cool engine. But once we get to here, it hits right there, there to there. We need a few more inches, so no luck. So I think this thing's not really worth it. I think we're gonna put it back together with the broken engine on it and just try and sell it for parts. See if somebody has a similar one they want this one for parts off of either that or somebody else wants to try and take their time to fix it. Alright, the sad bear cat. Neither of these worked. They don't fit. Okay, we got it all back together except for the bolt. We didn't put the big bolt back in the bottom to attach the chipper to the shaft. We're gonna see if it'll start, and then, yeah, we're just gonna have to sell it for parts to somebody. Disappointment. Mm. 
Yeah, I guess that's that. That shaft is probably bound up down in where it's broke, so we're not able to turn it over. So, it would have been nice to have a video of it running to show people, but yeah, whatever somebody's going to buy it for, it's not going to be usable as is, so disappointment.